Welcome back everyone to Wiener Worldwide. Today, we're gonna to be making the New Jersey Ripper dog. The New Jersey Ripper is a deep fried hot dog topped with a carrot and cabbage relish. That's right, we're not going easy on the cholesterol today. So, let's head right to the kitchen and make this hot dog. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is get our relish started. For that, we're gonna need all these vegetables presented in front of you and give them a nice chop. All right, come on now, we gotta chop better than that. So we're going to go through this one by one. I'm going to get one cup of carrot, one cup of green pepper, one cup of onion, and four cups of cabbage. Once you get everything nice and chopped up and shredded, we're going to add all that to a big bowl, and we're going to put in one quarter cup of pickling salt to the mixture, and we're going to give it a good mixing by hand. The pickling salt is going to draw out the moisture and make the vegetables softer, which will make it easier for them to break down whenever we simmer it. Once you give the mixture a good mixing, set it aside for two hours. I suggest doing something fun, like going to see Shang-Chi in movie theaters near you. That's what I did anyway. After at least two hours, you want to rinse your vegetables off to get any remaining pickling salt off, and you want to squeeze out any remaining liquid on the vegetables. Once the vegetables are nice and dry, we can put them into your biggest pot you possibly have, in this case this is my Dutch oven, and top it with one cup of water and one cup of white distilled vinegar, and bring that up to a simmer. It's very important at this stage that you don't actually boil the mixture, you just want a low simmer, otherwise we're going to make it too mushy. Once the mixture comes up to a simmer, you can go ahead and cover it and let it sit there on a low simmer for one hour. During this hour, I suggest you do something fun or something educational, like read history about hot dogs. Speaking of which, why don't we go over the history of the Ripper Dog? The history of this hot dog is actually pretty straightforward. The hot dogs were invented by Royal Abe Rutt and his wife Anna in 1928 in Clifton, New Jersey. There is where they opened up Rutt's Hut, and they've been a staple ever since. People compare them to the Philly cheesesteak in Philadelphia, New Jersey. They actually focus on making four different types of hot dogs. The in and outer which is only in the oil for a few seconds. The Classic Ripper, which is one of the ones we're focusing on today. The Weller, which is considered well done in their terms. And then the Cremator, which is cooked through and through and almost blackened and super crispy. The relish recipe I'm using today actually comes from one of the members of the Rutt family. Someone was kind enough to post the recipe online, and I really thank you for doing that, because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to make this as close as possible to the original. I'm definitely going to add Rutt's Hut on my list of places to go, and I highly recommend anyone around the New Jersey area to go to Clifton to try one for themselves. Alright, all this talk is making me hungry, let's go finish this dog. After an hour of simmering, and a change of clothes apparently, our vegetable mixture is nice and soft so we can finally finish making the relish. At this point, I'm going to grab a small bowl filled with 3 tablespoons of all-purpose flour and 1 and a half teaspoons of turmeric, and I'm going to mix about 2 tablespoons of the simmering liquid into it and make a paste, almost similar to making a cornstarch paste whenever you want to thicken a liquid that way. I'm going to set that paste aside while I mix in 1 teaspoon of celery seed as well as a half a teaspoon of mustard seed. And finally, two full cups of white sugar. That will make this relish nice and sweet and tart at the same time. Once you've added everything, you can grab a spoon and give it a good mixing, making sure that all the sugar dissolves and any spices get mixed in well. Once everything's all mixed up, you can grab that turmeric paste that we made earlier and put it into the mixture. This is going to act like a thickener, and it's also going to give it a nice golden color as well. If your vegetables gave off more liquid during cooking like mine did, you can also drain this off before you put it into the container to cool down. Speaking of the container, this relish is just about ready. Let it sit for 5 minutes to let all those flavors come together, and then you can jar it up in whatever container fits for you. And now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to deep fry some hot dogs. To my cast iron skillet, I'm adding about an inch of frying oil, and then I'm going to heat it up until it comes up to temperature, and then we'll drop our dogs in. Well, I would if I actually plugged in my induction cooker. Come on now, amateur. You know your oil will be up the temperature when you see your Wiener Worldwide logo start jumping in the reflection. What, you all don't have one at home? Well, you can just disregard that step then. Anyway, drop your hot dog in and cook it for about 5 minutes until you see the skin start to rip open. It really gets that ripper namesake, doesn't it? Now I'm actually making two hot dogs today. This one I made into a ripper, and now I'm going to make one cremator as well. 
Now the length of the cremator may vary based off your fryer and what temperature you're at, but for me this took about 10 minutes to get the correct texture. As I was patiently waiting for my deep fried glizzy goodness to be done cooking, I captured something beautiful. The hot dog was spinning freely within the fryer. It's almost as if the hot dog was taking one last journey before its final destination. It's as if me and the wiener were making a bond, that it was speaking to me, and it was saying, don't eat me please. Nah, I'm just kidding. This thing's way too delicious to let go to waste. Once it's nice and crispy, you can put it on a bun and we can serve it up. Now that the weenies have landed in their respective buns, we can grab our relish and serve them up. Put a nice dollop of our homemade Rutz Hut relish on each one. Now these hot dogs don't have to be served with the relish either. You can top them with whatever toppings you like, or eat them plain. They're delicious that way too. Alright, these guys are looking ready to go. Now it's time to go dig in. Alright everyone, that wraps up today's episode. Today we made the New Jersey Ripper Dog. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment for more Wiener content. And until next time, I'll see you on the next episode of Wiener Worldwide. Enjoy. Wanna try? Yeah.